ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಕಾಸನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚಿನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಹಂ ಪುನತ ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರ ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರ ದ್ವಿಜವರ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಪಥಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿತ್ ಸ್ವಾಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಯಥಾಥರ ಮೌಲ್ಯ ಸೇಚನೆ ನೋ ತಿಪ್ಪಂತಿಸ್ಕಂದು ತದು ಪೂಜೋಪಸಾಕ 
प्राणोपहारेन्द्रियाण तथा सर्व अर्हन उच्युतेज जरमूल निषेचन तिप्पन्ती तस्कुजोपाखा प्राणोपहारेन्द्रियाण तथा सर्व अर्हन उच्युतेज गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपान Jagat Guru told, "We have only one duty, one and single duty. We have no other duty. We have one and a single duty. That is called Hari Bhajan. Without Hari Bhajan, we have no other duty. It seems that we have some duty and responsibility. Really, in this society, we are." in in this society we discover so many duties father can feel duty for son husband can seem feel some duty for wife wife can feel some duty for husband this way this is one kind of internet a magic spell of maya invisible bondage nobody going to tie you with some chain but it's some one kind of invisible bondage everybody running according to that bondage they are bound to run but there is no reason but still there is reason so prabhu speaking we have only one and single duty is to do hari bhajan we should not feel attraction for material thing but we can say but until and unless you are going to see that absolute truth absolute truth up to that point not possible when you can see that absolute truth then it is possible for you to withdraw from all everything if you cannot see that thing you cannot withdraw yourself it is not possible for you to withdraw so anyway we are busy with material enjoyment material beauty is all around when you can we can see the absolute beauty of that bhagwan i mean in gita it is written in gita it is written that it is written that you know by watching the absolute beauty then you can withdraw that's look i forget anyway uh, it is written that if you can see that absolute object then and only then you can withdraw yourself not before that this way we are feeling attraction for material things material pope had told pope had wrote one article about that gauri hospital popat wrote one article gauri hospital there popat going to show that we are all patient those who are going to join gauri mart i mean going to take shelter of gauri mart basically they are all patient and all patient not same different patient coming with different kind of disease different kind of patients different kind of patients they are coming with different kind of disease so for them for them you should for them you should arrange different medicine not same medicine applicable for not same medicine for different kind of present you are going to arrange different medicine and there is a you know doctor popa speaking number 1 kevin there is one patient who is feeling attraction for money attraction for money and position number 2 kevin is feeling attraction for women number 4 kevin this way popat going to say 
Gauri Hospital. It's called actually Gauri Hospital. In Gauri Hospital, different kind of patients, they are coming. Raso Varjam Raso Pasyo Param Dishta Nivartanti. This sloka I forget. Raso Varjam Raso Pasyo Param Dishta Nivartanti. Until and unless you are going to get the score of meeting with higher rasa, yeah, it is quite natural you can be busy with dirty rasa. So, Prabhupada writing this article, they are Prabhupada speaking, all different patients, they should be given treatment accordingly. With Harikatha, Kirtan, Japa, all different kind of patient. Somebody going to complain that your this devotee, he should be driven away from mud. Somebody complaining to Prabhupada, this devotee, he should be driven away from mud. Prabhupada said, why? He is doing all rubbish activities. He is not under control. Prabhupada asking to that man, if you find one uh, patient, suppose if you find one patient, where you can send him? If you find one patient, where you can send him? He is speaking, we can send to hospital. So come on, this is hospital. This is hospital, here we are giving treatment to those patients. If they are going to take medicine properly, Harikatha, Kirtan, advice, then today or tomorrow they can revive. Then the man speaking, why not you go to market? There is so many people, you can, you can bring them to your hospital. Prabhupada speaking, yes, I can bring them. If they are going to confess that we are patient, I cannot go there in market and pull them into hospital. They can come to me that I am patient. Then I can give treatment. What to do? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu given one example to Sanatana Gosai. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu giving one example to Sanatana Gosai. Sanatana actually one son one son of one man, younger son, he is not getting the property left by father because he was outside his village and father going to, father before leaving body distribute money and property, whatever land and property to everybody. So all other son they are going to get share of this property. When that younger son coming back, he find there is nothing left, all distributed among all brothers everything. He started crying, lamenting, in a solitary place. Then he meet with one sadhu. Then he meet with one sadhu. Then the sadhu asking, why you are lamenting? Then the man speaking, that my, ma my father lived body, I was outside the village and I come back and uh, father, all property of father, they distribute among themselves, nothing left for me. Then that sadhu speaking, why you are lamenting? For you a great treasure waiting, but you don't know. Your father, could not get any scope to speak to you that he left a big amount of treasure for you. Then the man was very eagerful. Where is that property? Well, I can speak you. First of all, you try to, you know, you try to come and uh, try to hear me. Then that man, I mean that sadhu, going to speak that in this field, in the forest, there if you can go, a particular place is going to point out that if you cut that portion of mud, you can find huge amount of treasure they are kept for you. That the man was very interested to run. 
Then the sadhu speaking, don't run, because big problem there. What problem? If you go to, through south direction, the forest, so many places, through this direction you can go, this direction, north direction. So if you go through south direction of the forest, in that case one jaksha, jaksha you know, one kind of ghost. Those were, you know, one special kind of ghost, very powerful. So if you go through south direction, then the ghost can kill you, that jaksha can kill you. And if you go through south direction, there is one python, always moving around. One python, if you go through that direction, then a python can swallow you. Then how to do, what to do? If I go through north direction, north direction you can go, there is a dense forest, na? there is one, you know, black bees. If you disturb them, bees, if you disturb them, then bees can, you know, put, cut you. Then you can, so many black bees can going to attack you, then you can die. So if you go through east direction, it is more practical. If you go through east direction, then you can go and very slowly from long distance, if you go on cutting mud, not right there, the property is there long, but if you cut from this portion, gradually if you make a tunnel, and if you can go, you can find a big amount of treasure kept for you. Huge amount of treasure. Then Mahaprabhu speaking to Sanatan. Sanatan, you understand what he meant to say? So I understand something. But that man, that man, I mean, that man is a bonded soul. And that sadhu is acharya. The sadhu is acharya who is going to give you some indication that this way if you lead your life, that finally you can get that big amount of treasure, I mean the Krishna Prema. I mean you can get the lotus feet of Krishna. So bonded soul, for, for all bonded soul, Mahaprabhu is going to give this kind of instruction. This huge amount of property left by our Guru Bhargava, Huge amount of property, huge amount of property left by our Guru Bhargo, but somehow we cannot reach. Somehow we cannot reach, we cannot get. Because we have no perfect indication, nobody is going to guide us properly. If we can get guidance properly, if we are going to follow, then surely we can get. But bonded soul, they are less interested about. Anyway, so about the first sloka I started with, that is Naraji Mara speaking. Yatha taror mul. Anyway, nobody likes to accept. It is written in Bhagavatam. Yatha taror mul nisechane na tippanti taskandha hujopa sakha. Just like if you are going to give water in the root of a tree, there is some policeman can be there, he can try to give water to different place. But it is the rules. If you can give water in the root in the root of that tree, then a whole tree can get nourishment. Whole trees. That's why Popa told we have no other duty. We have only one and a single duty to worship Bhagavan Sri Krishna. In Gita also it is written. In Gita also, Urdha Mulam Adho Shakyam. Urdha Mulam Adho Shakyam. This material world, na? this material world, whole material world, it can be compared with the branches of a tree. What is a tree? Tree means this, the cause of this material world. This original cause of the material world is up. By here in this world, any tree, root is down and all branches up. 
But if you think about the root cause of this building and the tree of this whole world, creation, then you can find the root is up. That's why in Gita it is written, Urdha Mulam Adho Shakyam. In the form of branches, all creation all around. Actually, the root cause is up. So, Naroji Mara speaking, so Naroji Mara speaking to, Naroji Mara speaking, that just like if you give water to this root cause of this, any tree, if you are going to give water in the root, root of the tree, then automatically all branches can get nourishment. You need not give water separately. So it is written, Naraji Maharaj speaking, Yatha taror mul nisechene na tippanti taskand bhujo posakha prano paharasya jathendriyanam Like you are taking prasadam in mouth, not head, not ear. Taking prasadam? So, if you are taking prasadam this way, then all food can go to food sack. From there, all different kinds of juice, I mean, harm, different kind of enzyme can, secretion can be there. Finally, you can digest and assimilation can be done. Digestion, first digestion. First of all, digestion. After that, assimilation. I mean, the vitals of those, you know, you, uh, for, uh, the prasadam you have taken, all gone to different branches of your body this way. So, Naraji Maharaj speaking this way, Jatha taror mul nise chane na tippanti daskand bhujo pasakha prano paharasya yathendriyanam tathivo sarva arhanam uchyotejja. Similarly, if you are going to worship Achyuta, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, then all infinity world can be satisfied. Tasmin tushte jagat tushti. Tasmin tushte jagat tushto. So, if we are going to worship Bhagavan, satisfy Bhagavan Sri Krishna, then automatically all other whole world. We need not serve father, demigods, or uh, Brahma, Sankar separately. No need. No need. So, if you can do it this way, you can satisfy everybody. Our Guru Varga, they can realize that bonded soul, they are not going to concentrate into Hari Bhajan. So somehow to engage them in Hari Bhajan, they arrange different kind of parikram. Different kind of parikram, if they arrange parikram, in that case in parikram they will have to move long distance. They can grow their habit to suffer, I mean tolerate, you know. They can grow their tolerance power. So they are going to arrange this kind of parikram. Uh, and in parikram you will have to look, you will have to think, you will have to hear, you will have to pay dandavat, almost all sense organs. And you can take prasadam also, tongue, speak, do kirtan with the Maharaj, those who are doing. So this way you can get the scope to you can get the scope to engage all, almost all your sense organs. That's why Dham Parikram is very effective. And I already told Dham is actually Balaji Maharaj. So, if somebody is going to do Dham Parikram, special kripa of Balaji Maharaj he can, he can get. So, Balaji Maharaj, if you are going to get the kripa of Balaji Maharaj, then Chitbal, you know, Chitbal. Chitbal, Balaji Maharaj giving Chitbal, na? Nayam Atma Bala Hinana Labhya. In Upanishad, we find one slow, it is written, Nayam Na Ayam Atma Bala Hinana Labhya. Those who are weak, very weak, for them, this is not possible. Nayam Atma, I mean those who are weak, they cannot do Hari Bhajan. Weak mean, those who are not going to get Chitbal, Chitbal, you know, given by Balda. Not that bodily weakness. Bodily weakness, I mean, actually, body is, a, should be, body should be fine also. But, Nayam Atma Bala Hinena Labhya. So, we find on those, you know, Rup Shanathan and all, Raghunath Das Gosai, Gopal Bhatta Gosai, 
and Jiva Goswami path, they are all staying in Vrindavan and they are trying their best to discover all different, different places. They are trying. So in course of time, I already told how Madan Mohan, etc., all uh, Madan Gopal, all discovered. And yesterday I was speaking about Govinda Jevji. Actually, Rupa and Sanatan, they are not staying in one place. They are staying different, different places. And to stay in Vindavan Dham and to do Parikrama Vindavan Dham, we must follow them. Without the guidance of Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami, we cannot do Dham Parikram perfectly. Not possible. So we will have to follow them perfectly and the way their lifestyle we will have to understand. Like an, I can give one example. That time Sanatana Goswami path was there in, uh, it's called Pavan Sarovar. Sanatana Goswami was there in Pavan Sarovar, one Bhajan Kutir. I also went there many times, used to stay there. And Rupa Goswami Pad used to stay in Terikam, Terkadam. Terkadam is in uh, Nandagam and Pavan Sarabhas is also in Nandagam. But Pavan Sarabhas is this uh, northeast direction and it is uh, uh, this uh, opposite direction, like here, near Asheshwar Mahadev. So someday actually Sonatan Goswami Pad. Sanatana Goswami was someday, someday going to meet with Rupa Goswami Pad. Someday Sanatana Goswami Pad going to meet with Rupa Goswami Pad in the Bhajan Kutir of Rupa Goswami that is there in Terkadam. Terkadam. Rupa Goswami Pad when discover Gurudev coming. Gurudev coming. I mean Sanatana Goswami coming. Then he was very busy because when alone staying, then somehow dry chapati, this that can manage. Now Gurudev coming, I mean Sanatana Gosai coming, so he wanted to make some special arrangement, aprasadam. So he was thinking, discussing with Sanatana Gosai on some topics, but mentally thinking what to arrange. He wanted to arrange some paramanna. So many such cases there in Vrindavan. So if you hear, you can, you can believe that really Bhagavan is there. So now, Rupa Goswami Pad actually is thinking, if I can get some milk and rice and some sugar, I can make some paramanna for uh, my Prabhu. Mentally, no, not speaking to anybody. And talking with Sanatana Goswami. In the meantime, one small girl coming with rice, milk and sugar, everything, all what need, and going to give to Rupa Goswami Pad, and speaking, my mother sent to you, you can cook it and today you can fall. So Rupa Goswami Pad started cooking, everything done. After offering to Bhagavan, he is going to serve to <coughs> Sanatan Goswami Pad. But Sanatan Goswami Pad, when taking prasada, one kind of miracle, he gone mad. But uh, many times I took Paraman, but what is this, this kind of Paraman? Like current. So, Sanatana Goswami Pad easily could realize you desire to make Paramanu or automatically it will arrange. Rupa Goswami said, to speak uh, the truth, actually I wanted to make Paramanu. I was thinking, in the meantime, some small guard, he bring this Paramanu, uh, I mean this milk and rice, this. Then Sanatana Goswami speaking, don't do that. Don't do that. You are going to engage Radharani. You are going to engage Radharani in your own seva. Don't do that. She came to give. This kind of so many things. One sadhu staying there in Nandagram for 35 years. 35 years he is going to collect flower from different gardens in forest. Collect flowers and going to deliver to Nandagram, Nandavava, I mean. Nanda Baba temple. Every day, almost 35 years, is going to deliver the flower. With, with Sevam, you know, Sevam going to give. After 35 years, he took decision 
But 35 years over, uh, I, I am trying to do my seva from my heart. But Bhagavan is not going to give any response to me. So better I can go away from this place. He took decision to go away from that place. And same day, Bhagavan Sri Krishna coming and speaking, why you are going away? In the, in the in a small boy he came. And speaking, why you are going who can if you are going away, who can give me garland? Who can collect flower? Krishna personally coming. Such countless cases. Such countless cases there in Vrindavan. So we should believe that Bhagavan can give response to us. If we are going to do bhajan perfectly, we keep hope that Bhagavan surely can give response to us anyway. So now, Sunatan actually, Rupa Goswami path, getting information from one coward boy that there in Gomatila, one Gomatila is very uh, like hill, but not stone, not, it is a mud, mud, huge amount of mud there, hip, and it is called Gomatila. That small boy giving information to Sanatana Gosai, that daily one kind of Kopila guy, special guy. Kopila guy is special, it is not like this kind of cow. Kopila guy very not so height, but a very beautiful looking or white, very, very beautiful. And this horn actually is shaking. Usually horn is tight. All Gomata again the horn is tight. But Kopilaga, Gomata, their horn is actually tuck, 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 and can move, move around, not fix up. That Kopila guy daily coming to that place, Gomatila, and giving milk automatically. Every day, Gomatila giving milk daily and going away. That small boy giving information to Rupa Gosai. In the meantime, Sona, Rupa Goswami was also thinking about how to discover Govindaji, Gopina, so many things. So in the meantime, he was informed by a small boy that the Gomakvila, there is something special. Then Rupa Goswami Pad, by the help of those, those Brajavasis, Rupa Goswami Pad, by the help of those Brajavasis, took decision to check up what is there. They started, you know, uncovering mud, gradually, very then finally discover under Gomatila there is Govindaji. That Govindaji, I mean in almost Dapur Yuga and Koliji started, actually it was established by established by Bajranava. It was discovered. So this way actually Govindaji was discovered. There's all news going here and there, all people coming to see. So this way. Govindaji was discovered finally. So, so Rupa Goswami path <coughs> going to make Abhishek everything, but where to keep? Where to where to keep Govindaji? So finally there was one small room uh, uh, arranged. There Govindaji was there and started worshiping this. Head. After that the king of uh, the king of Bhar Bharatpur. Finally, because there was no temple, only, and that Gomatila is the original place. At the time of Dapar Yuga, Krishna, Krishna used to take Sevana, Jogpit Mandir, like our Jogpit. Jogpit meaning, Jogmin plus, Jogmin plus, Jogmin plus, add, addition. So here Jogpit means, here, Jokpit was discovered here. In that same Jokpit, every day there was some special time when all Narahari Adikori, all Narahari, Godadhar, Sivas, all devotees, they are going to get together one place and taking seva. That is called Jogopit. That is called Jogopit. In a day, some special time when Bhagavan. There, all devotees all around, they together going to give seva. That is called Jokpit. That Jokpit Mandir. Actually, Jokpit Mandir is the house of uh, no, Jagannath Misra, but still, it is Jokpit. 
as per Gaur Lila, it is Jokpit. And that Jokpit in Vrindavan, because night time, before starting Rasa Lila, this different kind of Lila in Kunja, all Gopikas they used to get together one place. And Jogomaya, you can find they are not opening. Jogma underground, Jogomaya. Jogma underground. In a year, only one time they are opening. Only one time they are opening pandas, then they can open, you can go and see. That Jogmaya is there. Jogmaya is going to hold all Leela, going to arrange. Jogmaya. So that Jogpit Mandir, there Radha, Govindo, Lalita, Vishaka, Adi, all, all Shakhi Manjuris, all Shakhi Manjuris, together, all together. He used to do Seva, Kalpataru Tale, Ratna Singhasana Pari, Shava Shakhi, Beshchito Kishara Kishari. They are going to take Seva, Govindaji, that is that Gomatila. You can go there, you can find the old Govinda Mandir. Now, after that, another Govinda Mandir was new Govinda Mandir. And old Govinda Mandir was, uh, when, uh, is there, red, red, you know, red. You've never gone there. Red, red color. Govinda Mandir, big, high, very high. And you will have to go up. That is called original Govinda Mandir. It was built uh, by the king of Jaipur, a uh, king of Bharatpur. Bharatpur Maharaj he was making. So, by the order of Rupa Goswami Pad, Bharatpur Maharaj going to make this big temple. It was very tall. At present, what we see is very short height. Because the king of Muslim king, one king from Delhi, he night time watching that one flame, light, from Delhi. From Delhi he is watching, there is a big light, amount of one flame. He took information that what is this light. Then finally that a cruel king came to know, finally that cruel king came to know uh, that the in the top of that Govinda Mandir, there is one big Pradeep. Pradeep, you know, we are putting oil in oil. After that, we put some, uh, so that a flame. Uh. So, two and a half moon. Moon mean how many ton? How many ton pure ghee? How many ton pure ghee they used to go and put there? You cannot believe. How many ton of ghee they used to put there? And all day and night that, that a flame running. After that, that Muslim king wanted to break the temple. When Muslim king, they wanted to attack the temple, then all Goswami Lok, they took decision to hide Govindaji. Because Muslim king coming, they can touch the deity. Then, they took decision to hide that deity. So finally, they bring, the, they, they arrange that deity to reach and enjoy, and actually, Kamban. Kamban, you know? Kamban, you never heard. Kamban. They are all Govindo, Gopinath, Madan Mohan, originally, when Muslim wanted to attack. Then all three deities were taken to, taken there in, in Kamban. Kamban is also been there from, from Nandogam, you have to go long distance there. There is, you know, Bimal Sarabar, you know, Bimal Sarabar, and Dharmaraj Yudhishthir Kundo, one in the form of one bird, Bogulas, you know, Jamraji Maharaj came to, to, put some question in front of Yudhishthira, you can remember, that place is there. Bhimalakun. So there, at present also, if you can go there, you can find Govindu, Govinath, Madan Mohan. Three temples you can go. And Brindadevi was discovered from some, from one special place. Now, near Ranganatham, 
one Brahma Kunda. From there, Vrindadevi, originally Vrindadevi was discovered. So all seva was originally there in Vrindavan. Originally all seva was there in Vrindavan, but finally due to, due to the attack of Muslim ruler, I mean king, they took decision to take uh, all deity up to, up to Jaipur. They took decision to take all deity up to Jaipur. But for some time, they arranged seva in Kamban. All deities, they are running up to Kamban. For Kamban, they are staying for some days. After that, deity was taken originally to Jaipur. In the meantime, when they are going, Jaipur, king of Jaipur, king of Jaipur going to arrange all deity to, king of Jaipur, he arranged so that all deity can be taken to Jaipur. In the meantime, Brindadevi came in dream, night time. You, you are going to take Govindu Gubinath Madan Mohan, but my name is Brindadevi, I am, I am staying here. I cannot go leaving Vrindavan, so you leave me here. Vrindadevi, see, don't like to go leaving Vrindavan. So, still today, if you go to, uh, go to Kamban, you can find original Vrindadevi. Original, it was discovered from Mart. That Vrindadevi is still there. She didn't want to go away from leaving Vrindavan. So he, she was left anyway due to Muslim uh, attack of this Muslim, Muslim rule, this kind of decision taken. So Govindo, Gopinath, Gopinath was discovered after. Gopinath was discovered, finally they wanted to take Govindo, Gopinath. Gopinath, Gopinath was discovered, Gopinath was discovered from, at present you can find Rasasthali. At present you can find Rasasthali, actually Rasasthali was not there. Rasasthali already gone under, under Jamuna. Big area, Rasasthali. It's gone under Jamuna. After that, our Goswami, they took one uh, no, uh, small tree of that of that original tree, one small, you know, it's called uh, very small. Come and going to plant there. That tree at present you see. Originally that that uh, you know Bangshi bought. They took one small chara. A chara means a small tree of that coming from that tree. Originally they bring and put there. So at present that uh, originally Rasasali there. Rasasali already gone under water. So, 500 years back, there was uh, one great devotee. His name is Madhu Pandit. His name is Madhu Pandit. He is actually the disciple of Gadadhar Pandit. Somebody is speaking Janava Mata, but actually there is document, some document. He is a disciple of, of Gadadhar Pandit. So he used to stay there, very in Skinchan, he used to stay there, all day and night doing bhajan. There is one Samadhi Mandir of Gadadhar Pandit. I used to stay there, there is one bhajan kutir, I used to stay there. Gada, eh, no, actually, uh, Samadhi Mandir of uh, Madhu Pandit. You can find the Samadhi Mandir of Madhu Pandit. And there he used to do bhajan, and most of the time in Rasasthali, he used to go there and do bhajan, solitary bhajan, very exclusive. One day, Gopinath came in dream. Gopinath speaking, this Rasasthali underground, you can find me. You can discover me. So, this way, he is going to consult with all Rajabhasis, and finally going to discover that Gopinath, very nice Gopinath, tall, from under the under that ground, I mean the Rasasthali. From that Rasasthali, that Gopinath was discovered. So Gopinath Seva was installed there. Gopinath Mandir already there. Gopinath Mandir already there, big Gopinath Mandir. Big red, red stone. I don't know. You've been there or not? I, I don't know. So it is near. Gopeshwar Mahadev. It is Gopinath Bajar. 
Gopisar is quite far. If you go to Gopinath Bajar, if you ask anybody, they can show you old Gopinath Mandir. Old Gopinath Mandir. There Gopinath Mandir, big Gopinath Mandir, big. Nando Go, some big uh, Jamindar, landlord, he made this. He was king, I think. Uh, so, originally it was small temple, and that original, the small temple you can find there also. There is also some deity, but after that, the, all deities were shifted to new temple. But the time I am speaking about, that time, Govindo, Gopinath and Madan Mohan all taken away from Vrindavan and shifted to Jaipur. So, if you go to Jaipur, you can find Radha Govindaji. That Govindo appeared from uh, uh, and, uh, Rupa Goswami but discovered. That Govindo is taking seva in Jaipur temple. And Gop Gopinath also you can get in Jaipur. And near Jaipur, from just near Jaipur, there was a very secret place. One. There it is called Karoli. It is called Karoli. If you go to Karoli, you can get that Madan Mohan. So Madan Mohan is just near Jaipur, that not originally Jaipur. From Jaipur you have to run some. So Govindo, Gopinath and Madan Mohan you can find. And the deities of Jayadev Goswami, Radha Madhav, deities worshipped by Jayadev Goswami. You know, heard the name of Jayadev Goswami, who write Gita Govinda. So Jayadev Goswami used to worship that uh, Radha Madhav, and uh, Radha Madhav originally you can find in in Jaipur, but you have to go long distance. You have to take car and go there. That is called actually uh, Radha Madhav Mandir. Radha Madhav. This way all Govindo, Govinath, Madan Mohan were discovered and finally, I don't know why, due to Muslim attack, finally they were shifted up to shifted up to Jaipur. And about that uh, our uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami. Gopal Bhatta Goswami is Radha Raman. Gopal Bhatta Goswami you know, Gopal Bhattu Goswami originally was there in South India. Sirangam, don't know. Originally he was there in Sirangam. When Mahaprabhu went to South India, then he met with Benkat Bhattu and Tirumal Bhattu. Tirumal Bhattu, Benkat Bhattu, they are actually in Ramanuja Sampradaya. They used to worship Lakshmi Narayan. Sirangam. Sirangam also Vaikuntha actually. You can. Bhauma Vaikuntha. There, they meet with Mahaprabhu. I mean, Tirumal Bhatto, Venkat Bhatto, they request Mahaprabhu that actually Chaturmasa Brutto approaching. The so Prabhu, if you can stay here, it's more practical. They request Mahaprabhu. So anyway, Mahaprabhu was agree due to some reason. So from then, Mahaprabhu used to stay there in their place. That time, Gopal Bhattu Goswami was a very small boy, Gopal, his name is Gopal. And Prabodhananda Saraswati Path, anyway, Prabodhananda Saraswati Path was also a sannyasi in the line of Ramanuja, uh, Ramanuja Charjo. Yeah, originally. But he took sannyas. But most of the people, they fight on this ground that his name is uh, Prabhupada Saraswati. This name looks like Mayavadi, so he is Mayavadi. But not that. Not that. Actually, we know Madhavendra Puripad, the great devotee, he also took sannyas. Ekdanda sannyas. Because on that time, it was a rule to take one dana sannyas. So Ishwar Puripat, Madhavanda Puripat, they all took Brahmananda Bharati. They all took one danda sannyas. So it seems they are Mayavadi, but actually not they are Mayavadi. They are not Mayavadi. They are actually devotee, great devotee. But somehow it was the system on those days. 
because Ekdanda Sanyas was very famous. Though Tidanda Sanyas is originally approved in Bhagavatam, though we know Tin Danda, one Danda, you can find our Sanyasi, there are three Danda. Three. Three Danda and one they tied and. But Madhavendra Puripad, Ishar Puripad, they always see they have taken one Danda. That doesn't mean they are Mayavad. Our Guru Bhar was speaking that they, Tridanda Sanyas was already approved in Bhagavatam. But that time it was the rules. Everybody can take. Sanyas means Tridanda, one Danda. That's why some of them took one Danda. That doesn't mean they are Mayavadi. And they, one Danda within one Danda, because Tin Danda means, three Danda means Kai Man Bhakya. By body, speech and mind, you will have to submit. This is the meaning of Tridanda. You will have to engage all your and body, speech and mind in the seva of that Absolute. Totally, you will have to engage. That is the meaning of Tridanda. So our Madhavendri Puripad is anyway, if they are going, Ma, Mahaprabhu also taking one Danda. Mahaprabhu also taking one Danda because that was the system. Mahaprabhu took one danda from Kesha Bharati in Katwa. But for Mahaprabhu, the meaning is different. Because Mahaprabhu him, himself is Supreme Lord. Mahaprabhu himself is Supreme Lord. So, Aham Brahmasmi, I am that Brahma, Mahaprabhu can take. That is the that is right meaning. If Mahaprabhu is going to take one danda, that is no problem. Because Mahaprabhu is Supreme Lord himself. If Mahaprabhu at all going to speak, Aham Brahmasmi, no problem. But for those bonded souls, if somebody is going to speak that Aham Brahmasmi, there is big problem. How a bonded soul can become Brahma? A bonded soul can never become a Brahma. How they can become Brahma? Brahma is, you know, infinity. Brahma is the original thing. But those Mayavadis, they are going to... They are going to, they are going to honor each other with this word. Namo Narayan, Namo Narayan, or Aham Brahmasmi. This is their rules and regulations. Anyway, so one danda, our Prabodhananda Saraswati Bhad, I already wrote one book. I mean, 12, 14 years back. Prabodhananda Saraswati Bhai Sahajya Tumiki Gaudiya with this mode. I wanted to establish that the that the Prabodhananda Saraswati Pad and Prakasananda Saraswati Pad are not the same. I wanted to establish the different documents that Prabodhananda Saraswati Pad and Prakasananda Saraswati Pad are not the same. They are all separate. But all other people, they are going to fight on this ground. But anyway, I can come to this point after. So that time Gopal, I mean Gopal Vattaku Swami, was very small boy, five years boy. He got the scope to message the lake of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Mahaprabhu taking prasadam, after that, Gopal used to take the uchista of Mahaprabhu. After that, when Mahaprabhu taking rest, then Gopal used to message. So he was very lucky. Very, very lucky. And Mahaprabhu used to stay there and dance and do kirtan there in Ranganatham Mandir, there, and used to do Ishtagashti, you know, Ishtagashti, you understand, Ishtagashti. Among all devotees, they get together and discuss among them. So, Mahaprabhu also used to discuss some topics of, you know, with Benkat Bhatto, Tirumal Bhatto, they used to discuss. <coughs> used to discuss. Now, so many of our Gauriya devotees, they are, they are fighting on this issue. They are speaking that we heard the name of, we heard the name of Prabodhananda Saraswati Bhad. Because how it is possible, they are going to, they are going to speak that Prabodhananda Prakasananda cannot be same person. I, they will say same person, they are speaking. They are going to speak same person. But we want to establish, and also Prabhupada told, 
they are not at all same person, not same man, a separate. They are going to put some argument that the name is Pavodananda, it is Mayavadi name. How you say? So Prakasananda, they are in Varanasi, is Mayavadi. So that man went to Varanasi. They are speaking this way. But they forget that first of all, after taking sannyas, where Mahaprabhu gone? First of all, after taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu went to South India. After taking sannyas, when Mahaprabhu gone to Puri, Purushottam Dham, Nilachal, and then from there, Mahaprabhu took decision to go to South India. North, North India. North, North India, South India. So when Mahaprabhu went to South India, then Mahaprabhu going to meet with Pavadananda, Saraswati Pad, and after Bhinkot Bhatto, Tirimal Bhatto, Gopal Bhatto, that, that time. That time, na? So Mahaprabhu was successful to change their heart. Mahaprabhu was successful to change their heart. Originally, they were all, originally they were all very famous, very famous uh, Ramanuja Sampradaya Satu, very important. But by the association of Mahaprabhu, they wanted to change their bhajan. Especially our Prabodhana Saraswati Path, he took decision to go to Vrindavan and do bhajan. Still today you can find his, his Samadhi Mandir in Kamban, Bimala Kundu, you can find. Up to the last moment of his life, he used to do bhajan there. He never went to Varanasi, nowhere, no, nothing, no historical document, nothing. He lived in South India, he was very impressed uh, by the preaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by looking at Mahaprabhu and Baba. So they enjoying full kipa. So, Prabhupada Saraswatipa went to, you know, Kamban first, before Gopal Bhattu. Gopal Bhattu Goswami, that time was a very small boy. So, Mahaprabhu, before leaving Srirangam, Mahaprabhu giving instruction to Tirumal Bhattu and uh, uh, Benkat Bhattu not to give marriage to this boy. Don't arrange marriage. Don't arrange marriage of this small boy. Let him grow up, he can learn something after. And after some time, he can go to Vrindavan. When he's getting maturity, I mean small boy now. No. This way, Gopal Bhattu Goswami also went there in Vrindavan, but after. But one thing very important, that Gopal Bhattu Goswami was, you know, was trained, originally he was trained by, trained by Prabhupada Saraswati. But Prabhupada Saraswati is sannyas. One question coming, how it was possible for Prabhupada Saraswati to give teachings to Gopal Bhatt? Because all the teachings, learning, eh, all the teachings, eh, given all the, you know, teachings was given by Prabhupada Saraswati Now somebody put in question, if Gopal Bhatt was a small boy, and if after taking sannyas, how it is possible for him to stay in, at home? How it is possible after taking sannyas, nobody can stay at home? So the argument is there, they can put this kind of argument. But in Dham, but in Dhamma, anybody, I know in Vrindavan also, one very important personality, he took sannyas, a big pandit, he took sannyas, his house is just near Gopesha. He took sannyas and he lived home and going to stay in Vrindavan, other place. Because it is dumb, na? It is Vrindavan dumb, where they can go? Usually it is the rules, if your, how, if, if your house was there in Calcutta, you should not go to Cal and uh, to the, your room. You should stay to some other place. Other relative and all, they can disturb you, na? But if about Dham, it is allowed. In Vrindavan Dham, so many people, some Bhujibhasi I know, they used to stay in Vrindavan Dham. They are traditionally, father, forefather, they leave home and going to stay in Govardhan or maybe Nanda Gram, they are staying. But it is Dham, where to go? So Srirangam also. So maybe he took sannyas, but there is no document. There is no document, he was there in home. 
But one thing is very important that Gopal Bhatta Goswami took all, took all lesson, lesson from, from Prabhupada Swasti. Then how to adjust? Sirangam was quite far from their house and there was Kaveri Nadi river, maybe somewhere there. Maybe he used to stay in the temple of, you know, Sirangam, who can say? Maybe they used to stay in the Sirangam temple, who can say? Or some other bhajan kutir may be there. But surely not at home. And if at all to take, take darshan of Mahaprabhu, if somebody is going to, you know, start argument, if Mahaprabhu is there, where Podan Sasave used to meet with him? May, answer is that maybe in Sri Ranganatham Mandir, because every day Mahaprabhu used to go there. And another point, if Mahaprabhu at all doing Kirtan at home, doing some Ishtagasti, when Bhagavan is there, when Bhagavan is there in their house, then it is Vindavan. If Bhagavan is going to stay in their house, then it is Vindavan. And what for? What for people going to take sannyas to get Bhagavan? And that Bhagavan is there in their house. So if at all Prabhupada Saswe used to go to meet with Bhagavan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to pay Dandavad, this is no fault, no wrong in it. Try to follow him, what I say. If at all Bhagavan, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there, if at all going to avoid the instruction that one should not go to home, it's okay. But when Bhagavan is there, he can go. No wrong in it, no wrong Siddhanta. So, Gopal Bhatta Goswami was totally trained by, Gopal Bhatta Goswami was totally trained by, by Prabhupada Saraswati. All his education, right from the beginning. Because Prabhupada Saraswati is a, a, a great super personality. At the same time, he is great pandit. Such a knowledgeable person, rare. South Indian Brahman, high family, Vedic Brahman, they know everything, Ved, Vedanta, everything. Follow. And the scar thread of Gopal Bhatta Goswami was given by Prabhupada Saraswati. Because without, without getting scar thread, it is, it is without getting scar thread, one cannot start spiritual teachings cannot take. That is a strict regulation still today in South India. Only and only after taking this kind of skirt there, then he can start spiritual education. Other education you can do, Sanskrit grammar, uh, that is okay. But if you are going to learn Ved Vedanta, Upanisha, you must take first skirt there, after that you can. That was the rule. So from five years of age, he was taking lesson, so his skarthet was given by Gopal Bhatta Goswami. I mean Gayatri Mantra. Skarthet means Gayatri Mantra. Skarthet means Gayatri Mantra. He was given. But finally, Gopal Bhatta Goswami going to get mantra from Pavadhan Saraswati. Total mantra. Finally, when Pavadhan Saraswati took admission into Gorya Bhajan, after that, going to reach uh, Kamban in Vrindavan, doing bhajan there for a long time. After that, Gopal Bhattu Goswami get maturity, I mean, grew up. And after that, he went to Vrindavan to join, you know. But anyway, we find the bhajan kutir of Gopal Bhattu Goswami there in Vrindavan, Radharaman Gera. It, the name is Radharaman Gera. But also, there is some special bhajan kutir of Gopal Bhattu Goswami. But nobody knows. Some special place. What is there? It is there in Sanket. One by one, what do you mean by Sanket? Sanket after, after leaving Barsana. Today I can only touch. Sanket about Sanket, I can speak all in details. If you, if your darshan of Barsana is over, Barsana, Barsana you know? Radharani's place. If you complete your darshan of Barsana, from Barsana, if you, uh, if you go, if you like to go towards Nandagram, 
From Barsana and Nandagram, there is at least 8 or 10 kilometers different. From Barsana, you will have to go long distance. After that, you can meet Nandagram, not before that. But in between, there is one very special place that is called Sanket. Very special. There we can find the Bhajan, Bhajan Kutir of Gopal Bhattu Goswami. There you can find the Bhajan Kutir of Gopal Bhattu Goswami. Sanket means mean indication. Krishna is going to play on plates and giving indication to Radharani, I am here. I already reach. That is why the name is Sanket means indication. Sanket is Bengali and Sanskrit word. Meaning of Sanket is, Sanket means indication. Krishna on free is going to indicate, I already reach. That's why name is Sanket. So many temples there I can go. I can go on speaking tomorrow also. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami has some bhajan kuti there also. He used to do solitary bhajan. And but most of the time, up to the last moment of his life, he used to live there mostly in Radharaman Ghera. And how Radharaman was discovered by Gopal Bhattu Goswami, I can speak tomorrow about this point. How Radharaman came out automatically from Shalogram. How Radharaman came out of the Shalogram overnight, within one night. Radharaman, beautiful big Ram. So it's one uh, long, you know, you have to know. So, uh, Gopal, Gopal Bhatta Goswami discovered Radharaman. Uh, Gopina discovered by whom I told. Madhupandit. Govindaji discovered by Rupagoswami Pad. Madan Mohan discovered by Sanatan Goswami Pad. Oh, so many deities I can speak tomorrow. So today I like to stop here. Jatha Tarar Mun Lisei Chanena Tippanti Tatskand Bhujopa Sakha Prano Paharas Chajatendriyanam Tativa Sarva Arahanam Ucha Dejya. Actually, you will have to hear. It is one kind of traveling. Documentary. So there is no Tattva Siddhanta so much. Only you will have to, I have to discover. I am to describe. 